Herbie Hancock. You know how you can play some notes on your horn and make it sound like you'd never played a horn before. Well, Miles Davis said that to Wayne Shorter back in the mid-60s. Now, what did he mean? Sounds like innocence, vulnerability. Innocence? Miles? A man who had such a, a searing solo sound for much of his work that it would grab you by the throat and, and threaten to yank it away. Miles was all of that and, and everything else in between. Yeah, they thought that I just woke up one morning and had the blues and started playing the trumpet. But it don't go like that, and you can't explain that to them. Now they know. I'm not an accident. Passion, Miles did that too. The courage to consistently explore territory on the cutting edge, the courage to define in his notes his sound, what he stood for, what he believed in. If I would wake up and I was thinking like I thought in 1960, I'd go back to sleep, you know, or cut my throat. He was a man of, of mystery, magic mystique. He was accused of turning his back on his audience, showing disdain for the people. Miles didn't turn his back. He faced the band, like any conductor. Miles knew how to listen, too. One night in Stuttgart, when the band was particularly really on, I played a chord that was so wrong at a peak in one of Miles Davis' solos. Miles paused for a second, and then he played some notes that made my chord right. Now I know that Miles didn't hear the chord as wrong. He didn't judge it. He heard it as an intriguing sound, and he came up with something that made it work. He could do all that and play the meanest blues that you'd ever want to hear. I mean, blues that would knock your socks off, that would get right to your bones. Hey, I love what I do. And I love, you know, playing for people and make them feel what I feel. Miles once said to me, you only need to play one note. The right one. It's Davis. Ronnie on trumpet. On behalf of my father, I'd like to thank the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for this most honorable and prestigious award. Thank you very much. You know, I played with Miles, and, and uh, he always taught, taught us just to, you know, it didn't matter if you were black or white, 
just if you had soul, you know, he, he said, hey, guys, I want you to listen to Sly, James Brown, Jimi Hendrix, man, just play. When, when you know, when, when, when it's time to play, play, you know, and swing your ass off. Oh, oh. Swing your butt off, man. And, and I miss him and we love him. And thank you so much for this award. Thank you. I'm looking out here and I see a lot of very talented musicians all over this place. And uh, I don't know how to say it, but the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, it's more like a Musicians Hall of Fame. And we're just honored that we've that our uh, my father, our father, has been recognized. And uh, we congratulate the other honorees tonight. And everybody have a good time. acoustic bass. Marcus Miller on bass. Rock and Roll 